then there are <coughs> number of other things in uh, Likert scale. Before I go for alpha, just look for one case and try to think about it. One of uh, my colleague worked on it, happiness about gadgets, TV, phone, I am just trying to take a another thing just like the Likert scale, highly satisfied, satisfied, neutral, dissatisfied, highly dissatisfied, TV, phone, car, scooty, well uh, I should not write gadgets then, then about following. Washing machine, it is a Likert scale, right. So, highly satisfied, satisfied neutral etcetera, it is a 5 point scale, I ask it. A person said TV, I am highly satisfied. Listen carefully, if a person is highly satisfied on TV, does that mean the person is highly satisfied on phone also? Highly satisfied or Khan Scooty? No. no. no? no. It is not a Likert scale, it is a 5 point scale. You got the difference between the two, a very minute difference. Likert statement, it will be Likert scale if there are 5 statements of TV. If there are 5 statements of TV, then it is a Likert scale, it is not a Likert scale. Which one? TV, etcetera. Unidirectionality comes only for like if there are the 5 statements of TV. Now, I want only about the TV. So, I write I am happy with the channels, happy with image, happy with channel, happy with audio, happy with interface, I can apply pen drive etcetera. These are the things. Now, in this if I will say somewhere I have not happy with audio, unidirectionality is lost. So, unidirectionality means, do you understand that the first it need to be a one dimension and all the statements have to be on the same liking or disliking, but if there is something called TV, washing machine, refrigerator, there is there are separate dimensions, there are separate things, it is not a Likert scale, it is a 5 point scale. You see when I was a student, I was always you know, I was never able to understand what the Likert scale is. I asked some people that what is Likert scale? and majority of the people told me when you write like this, it is a Likert scale. If there is a statement and you write it is a Likert scale and my point was always my stupid questions were statement 1, if I write like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, now what is it and people said well it is a ordinal scale. So, well, okay, that depends on me, if I write like this it becomes an interval, if I write like this it becomes ordinal. How funny? No, you write whatever way, you simply tell me whether statement number 1, statement 2, statement 3 are they related, are they about the same thing or not. If they are about the same thing, it is Likert scale. Likert said a very simple thing, when you ask something from a person, ask in the different perspective. Look, you are asking opinion and opinion is very subtle and there are the things. No. There are number of issues then, people say if you do unidirectionality, I, I, uh, I have conducted a study in my college, it was on education, technical education, service quality. So, this was what you expected if you remember survey call. So, these are statements and what you find actual. So, you have to write from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so right. So, I have given to the students that uh, these are the various statements, colleges, this, 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 25 dimensions. What the people did, they said, we expected 5, do, we find 1, do. Now, is it uh, the way to fill the questionnaire? Do, do, ok. So, the point is, person is not reading all the decad, person is not reading at all. So, if you make certain things in reverse way, I like math somewhere, I hate math, I like math strongly agree, I hate math strongly agree, what is going on? 
you should ask it and people of psychology do it extensively. 10 statements are there, they ask 20, they, they use the term uh, instrument. So, in the instrument you look for there is always 60 actual or 30, every statement is asked 2 times. So, the point is I simply want to look for if I will ask like this and if I will change it, do you understand it or not? So, I can expect if it is 5, I like 5, so it should become 1, not 1, it can be 2, it can be 3, but not 5 at least. You know, I will give a margin, it is not like Roberts, like 1 this. We human beings, we uh, do not go for the extremes. Have you seen the movie Robert, Rajnikanth? Yes. Those who have seen, there is a, uh, there is a scenario, a girl is taking bath and Robert is going from there and there is a fire in the home. Now, the prime direction is save the life. Now, the Robert goes, do all sort of stuff and take the wife, she is nude. Next day, she commits suicide and now the Robert is not under, able to understand what went wrong. The prime directive was save the life. Now, there is in human beings, there is something called dignity. Dignity is more important than life. Now, how to explain it? To a young baby, if you explain what is dignity? It is a very complex thing and you understand it over a passage of time. Right? You don't. You can't t tell that. So from that perspective, we are not robots. We say if it is five, it may not be one. But okay, let's two, let's three, but certainly not four or five. That means you are not getting it. Now, do you understand what is meant by the pilot testing? First thing, people have some very funny idea about pilot testing. What is pilot testing? You will say when you go for data collection, first 10, 20 are called pilot testing, and then you carry on. <laughs> well, theoretically things are good, but I am always uh, like, do you tell me how? How is pilot testing is used only for Likert statement number one? Okay. If there is no one, you can just again you can go for pilot testing, but that is for content coverage. That is for content coverage whether you ask all the things or not. If your questionnaire contains MCQ only, you should go for pilot testing just for content validity whether the content coverage, have you noted down the difference between validity and reliability? Validity is of the questionnaire, reliability of, of the person, have you noted this point? If validity is of the questionnaire, like content validity, coverage is complete or not, reliability is about the person, like if she is inconsistent in her results, statement 1 and 2 and she is giving ok, it is her problem. I will ask her why, why you are giving this inconsistent result. In the previous example of math, A and B were consistent, C was not consistent. So, reliability is about person, validity is about scale. So, when you go for pilot testing, which techniques we apply and this is you know people make all sort of experiments, please note it down. When you go for pilot testing, nowhere EFA or CFA is applied, number one. Why? A general idea is people say number of statements multiplied by 5 should be the sample size. Now, what is the size of pilot testing? 20, 25, 30, 50, right? EFA, CFA will not be applicable. KMO is not positively defined, and the scholars say the system is not working properly, things are going wrong. It should not be applied. Second, regression is not applied. Why? The sample size for regression is n is equal to. 50 plus 8k, this is the formula given by Green. What is k? k is the number of independent variable. It means if you got one variable, the minimum sample size will be 58. Pilot testing you collect of 20. There is no fun in applying any other hypothesis testing or other things. So, what we do in pilot testing? It is simply we calculate Cronbeck alpha simply Cronbeck alpha. Second thing, Cronbeck alpha is calculated only of the Likert statement, only of the Likert state st statements. You ask a question, which newspaper you read? I told Bhaskar, tell me, am I reliable or not? How can you tell? You can tell only if you ask other questions, okay, if you ask Bhaskar, sports news is in what section? who is the editor, on Sunday what sort of things comes, 
only then reliability can be ascertained. So, even in MCQ reliability can be ascertained, but uh, do you get it asking the same question from the various perspective only then it is possible. So, it is taken in case of Likert scale. Now, if somebody got an MCQ questionnaire ok go for the content coverage if that is ok just proceed no pilot testing is required. So, in case of this Likert statement you must go for this. Now, let me tell you what is happening if you have some understanding of R let us see what how call uh, this uh, Kronbeck can tell that whether your data is authentic or not. 